Ankh here, back today with a high evolutionary deck because I wanted that sweet, sweet 200 token bonus by winning four games with Cyclops. And I was a sucker and I bought the variant because it looks cool. Kind of reminds me of a Jedi, Obi-Wan, Anakin, robe kind of vibe going on. And uh, yeah, high evolutionary still strong. This is mostly an Inshinot type deck, but it's missing the Infinot and it doesn't have Shocker. Instead, it has Scorpion Abomination Package, which I realized after playing enough games with it, it doesn't really make sense in this style of a deck because you just never really have an opportunity to play Abomination. Even if you hit Scorpion off early, he ends up being generally like a two or three cost most of the time because you're only hitting maybe four cards on average and then maybe they don't even play all of those four cards by the turn by the time that abomination pops up so it just didn't feel that good um i've been reading to try and see well i really like abomination he was like one of my favorite early classic cards and how can i make him work in a hivo deck maybe spider woman uh, she can immediately knock off a bunch of negative power, whereas Scorpion, you have to wait for them to actually play the cards out. Um, I know there's other tools in the stack, like you could throw in the thing, but I feel like the thing's kind of weak. Um, Wasp is solid. You know, it's just like you're playing a lot of cards in Commitment for the Abomination, so frankly, that as a package probably doesn't make sense. I'd rather just throw back in the shocker and just go on full inchy knot i think with this style of deck otherwise you're gonna kind of want to rework a, a lot of the fundamentals here you could go with more of just a full classic high evolutionary and just throw in all the components um at that point just take out the leech maybe throw in the spider woman and you can potentially get off a, a real cheap abomination or a, you know a free abomination turn six so yeah uh, it's a strong deck like and subscribe if you haven't already and enjoy the games. I don't know, I thought this deck would be good, but so far it just has not been consistent. Uh, maybe just a few unlucky draws, but we literally have more than half of our deck is three and below, and our, our hit right now is all four and up. So, literally only one card that we can draw that's not a three. Okay. Maybe the deck isn't that great just because of the Nova Killmongers out there. We've gotten kind of trashed <laughs> one game <laughs> where this guy just outvalued with just Nova Killmonger and that location where you can get copies of the card and just kept playing those two cards over and over again. And I had magic, so we had like seven turns to do that with a giant board already and a Sebastian on the board just growing. It was insane power. <sighs> well, <laughs> there's more kill fodder for his killmonger. Uh, we can actually swing that with this or She-Hulk. Which would I rather play? Could potentially swing it with Cyclops, but if he has killmonger, then... You lose it, so I'll just do the She-Hulk now. Preventing him from drawing is pretty big. Me drawing is pretty big. We can leech here. Which if he likes Sarah's, if he's greedy right now, this will just be really strong. The thing is, we may not actually want to play Hulk, because it hasn't grown at all. We're only winning this by one. Uh, we've got a nice abomination. It's going to be hard for him to beat that. We could just play Cyclops. Here, that would tie it. Probably better here, just in case. There's literally no reason to sunspot.
yeah, because he can still play three cards, so he can play one in each lane, and so even if we tie right, if we lose middle, we would just lose. So, that was the play. Had to do Cyclops middle. Whew. <laughs> well, this is kind of the anti... Sebastian, Surfer, Silver Shaw, whatever you want to call it, deck. Tarnax. Well, we don't really like Tarnax, to be honest. Because all of our cards are good. Except maybe Hivo. Evolutionary. Could magic it. Let's just throw armor right, I guess. Deadpool? Well, my goal is not to destroy Quinjet, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, We just want to kill Tarnax. I love Tarnax. I'm sorry, Tarnax, but you're not going to benefit me much this game. Well, I mean, hitting Leech on it's kind of good. You know what? Hivo and Leech on it's pretty good. Although we'll probably end up playing Cyclops next turn. I just love you too much, Tarnax. That's pretty good. We can rock in it. Will it just give us rocks, though? Tarnax is weird about that. Like, I threw a Widow's Bite in there, and it just gave me another wid Widow's Bite. But there's more zero drops. Was it just that unlucky? Or what's going on here? It's not technically an ongoing, so this doesn't actually double. Werewolf is really good for him, though. Oh my god. All right. Well, I do want to float one. You get Golden Rocks, though. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen a Golden Rock. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm probably going to throw in this game regardless of the outcome. Just because of that. Well, wait a second, though. Leech doesn't hit because it doesn't... Uh, it's not actually an on-reveal anymore. Uh, has been for a while, but I just kind of forgot that interaction. Hmm. I think we still Leech, though. It's just really good. <laughs> Now his Loki won't do anything. Assuming he still has it in hand. I don't have Sunspot, which is unfortunate. But we can do that. And that. Float one for Cyclops. Whoa! Well, we lost Tarnax, but... The Golden Rock is out. <laughs> so, we're losing middle. We have an unrevealed. Could be something. Whoa! Will that destroy, though? That'll destroy itself, right? No, because of armor! The armor off the Super Scroll! Right? Or else it would have just destroyed itself. Oh my god. <laughs> the golden rock? All we have is a rock, though. Uh... <laughs> it's not possible to win. I'm still gonna throw this game in just because that was super fun. Is it possible at all to win? Like, maybe if he plays his 6-drop into Tarnax? Even then, because if it is Destroyer, we have Cosmo. So, unfortunately, we can't do anything except show off the Golden Rock. Maybe this deck is just, I'm trying to be too much, I'm trying to combine like the whole infinite plus high evolutionary thing. I've seen it work and be good though, but uh, 
don't think it'll burn now. If you play a card here this turn, it's no longer this turn. But it just kind of feels inconsistent. Whereas with skipping a turn with Infinon, turn six, if you have seven turns, there's not really a reason not to play it. We won't float, but it's okay. Invisible Woman? <laughs> oh. Hello. <laughs> you gotta be brave to be playing an Invisible Woman these days with Eliath just completely nullifying your whole Hella shenanigans. I'm assuming that must be Hella then, right, with Modok? Just trying to think, like, how much of a better deck would this be if it was just, like, more pure hive? Like, how much value would I be getting out of Shocker? Like, he's a good, just kind of cheap, decent value. 2 3, reduces the cost, but one card. You can armor that, which is pretty cool. I don't really have a great play next turn. He would have priority, so he could kill Monger if he wanted. <laughs> I don't get a squirrel there, which may not actually be the worst thing. The thing I've seen, though, my experience, has been these Sebastian Shaw decks are good. Oh, that! I could snap again, my goodness. That is so freaking good. <laughs> that completely counters Sebastian Shaw. Just wondering what I should do though. There's sunspots not really that necessary. I'd rather just have Cosmo down. Was that in this deck or is that the expansion card? I just got so preoccupied with my Sandman, I wasn't uh, paying as much attention to what he got. Got a lot of power left, but it's not up by too, too much. <laughs> uh, this will go through Cosmos. So we can play him middle if we want. Alternatively, I think we might be better off just playing big cards because like, that's a three, so that'll get hit by Surfer. But like, how's he gonna play? 10 power middle. Maybe with Dakin? But he didn't get the Dakin thing. 6 power. Does he have 6 power in a single card? Well, Shava has hit something. Is that already on the board? It's already on the board. It was Shaw. I don't think those decks typically hold a card that does 6 power. Maybe Maximus with the Dakin deck? I don't really know what that would be. The Surfers, that'd be 4. So that's the thing, I haven't had a juicy, like a real juicy game, maybe one that I can't remember <laughs> where they've actually stuck it through. So this is the opponent's retreat game, which happens a lot with Leech, and I didn't even play Leech. Everything. Sure, why not Scorpion? Especially if he doesn't play anything, so it hits everything. <laughs> Mr. Everything got hit by everything. Everything got hit for everything. Uh, the big house is not good for us. So we'll just magic it. <laughs> Since we know he played a card there, we'll Cyclops there. Storm? <laughs> That'd be kind of annoying. Electro. Well, he could have Galactus right now. So that would stop Galactus. 
I guess that's my problem is I've been also playing seriously and snapping when I think I should snap and sometimes people just retreat, like in this situation. I mean, that's kind of okay with me. Yeah, I've got a bunch of big cards. Did he draw that? Um, it puts us at 17. If he plays one, he'll be at 17. We'll be tied. So I guess we don't really want that. So it's really just a 50-50 of where he plays. Um, seven here, eight here. So he probably expects me to play here because it's less power. I'll play here because it's more power. Sneak that in too. <sighs> Doesn't see that's a mistake on his part. Unless he just has a really bad hand. Um he should be taking 50-50s, because like unless he suspects me having more than 12 power, I guess he might suspect that with the high bow hulk. Uh, more often than not, I would have floated if it had been in my hand. So yeah, that's probably the smart play, because it's not really a 50-50 if he thinks I can win by just playing left. <laughs> we kind of have a hard time filling up the board, so we'll just play that into Shuri's lab. Like, if we draw Sunspot, we wouldn't want to play it there. Is him doubling means nothing. <laughs> so probably Shaw, which means we definitely want to protect our sunspot. It could just be a Patriot. I haven't really seen a Patriot in a hot minute, but... You never know. I'm feeling pretty good. We got Leech in hand and nullify his turn six play. We've got a giant Hulk. Our sunspot can grow. Do we magic? He might have Polaris, honestly. So being able to protect our sunspot even further and just having more turns for all that stuff. Still float. Hulk grows. Oh. Blue Marvel. Iron Lad. So I guess I'm not sure now if this actually is a surfer deck. Just do that still. I see no reason to play anything, honestly. We let our sunspot grow, we have a free She Hulk, and we play Hulk. I'm guessing it's Patriot with Onslaught, but how does he beat this plus that? And we float to grow more? There's no way he's running a Lyoth, right? That'd be way too greedy. Right? Doom. Here it was. Here was our juicy game that actually played out. This is the dream. This is where the deck really shines. Now part of us didn't draw well in order to pull this kind of combo off, but the other part of us just every time we started to establish the combo, as soon as like a leech was played, they would retreat. Sure, sure. 
Thanoses often have Killmonger, so... But... Cares that much about protecting it. And we just need to win middle. Is this an ongoing Thanos? Looks to be. Just play... Cosmo here. We have priority, so this could mess up whatever he tries to play as well. Each time you play down those cards. <laughs> this might be my one opportunity to play the Abomination. Do I want five turns? Maybe. Or seven turns? Five turns. Next turn we can completely float. She Hulk plus Hulk. He's winning every single lane right now, but that's because he has double dinosaur middle and I don't have any power cards middle yet. He can't Eliath middle because of Cosmo. Although, would he really have Eliath in this deck? Maybe. Not very familiar with the ongoing Thanos deck, to be honest. I know you probably have Spectrum. can't leech me because it's past turn past turn five not that it's likely that you'd have leech i'm just trying to think like what could really mess me up here he played nothing which is kind of weird is he there still i think so i think he's just thinking this through really hard like what can i expect him to have well you can expect me to drop <laughs> approximately i'll grow twice because one this turn and the next turn so 20, 30 power metal. He's up by six now. So it's not out of the realm of possibility for him to hit that. I don't want to snap because this guy seems like he's about to leave any second. <laughs> Even though I think we're going to win. And to be honest, it's possible we could lose. I mean, if he has big cards still, he just out of here. Very unsatisfying. I feel like that's how every game has been. Yeah. Victory. Sorry guys, this is uh, as much of the combo as you get to see because infinite players care about winning.